but a party who are using the state to assault our people. And when you beat people, they have a right. They have a right. When you're beating them unjustly, they have a right to fight back. And that includes busting your ass also. And we're going to use all our faculties. And I'm, 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 being, I'm an old man. And this leadership, like they raided every geriatric home in this country. The WPA. Yeah, like sports people. This is the kind of um, thing you want for, 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 for our guy. These people pick up all the all stunt. Fix upon your ideal of what you wish to make of yourself. Consider well and be sure that you make the right choice. That is, the one that will be the most satisfactory to you in a general way. Do not pay too much attention to the advice and suggestions of those around you. Do not believe that anyone can know, better than yourself, what is right for you. We are saying we are people too, and we have a right to defend ourselves. And defend ourselves we will, because those of us who are fortunate to have a big microphone, we are using it to build up our defenses, our cultural defenses, our political defenses, our social defenses to defend ourselves against the assault, not just of individuals. I've seen the WPA now name its presidential candidate. And, and you know, I'm no, I've been around politics a long, so I'm no spring chicken. So, um, but this group of people make me even look young. I can expose anybody, my father, I'll do it, I can expose you. That's how far this man left here for, 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 for say he come in and, 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 and dump rubbish right at the back of the lane. I don't know, right here, Scott, and go up on your way or rent a sea once beam. That is past people. Listen to what others have to say, but always form your own conclusions. Do not let other people decide what you are to be. Be what you feel that you want to be. Do not be misled by a false notion of obligation or duty. You can owe no possible obligation or duty to others that should prevent you from making the most of yourself. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Because they have this cyber story, and if you open your mouth, they say you, you're fomenting violence and you're fomenting racism, that they will get us not to speak. But teacher, judge, teacher, we, we're guinea border, Allah, not the yearly. Now, skin teeth, not laugh. Right. And so we are saying we are people too, and we have a right to defend ourselves. And defend ourselves, we will. Because those of us who are fortunate to have a big microphone, we are using it to build up our defenses, our cultural defenses, our political defenses, our social defenses, to defend ourselves against the assault, not just of individuals, but a party who are using the state to assault our people and when you beat people they have a right they have a right when you're beating them unjustly they have a right to fight back and that includes busting your ass also and we're going to use all our faculties because right here tonight what we are doing is that we are fighting back we are fighting. Right. Yeah, fighting is that a physical thing that is what they understand because they want to eliminate us physically but we are a spiritual people. And we understand that when you are spiritual, the spirit takes you wherever the resistance is. And resistance comes in the dark of night. Sometimes when you're back down, you know, when you beat in, when you're a bully, you know, people just do wait till you're back down for pelt you. We understand it. We beat slavery, you know. We beat slavery. We beat colonialism and we beat them with righteousness and resistance. 
You all hear the term Malinga? I see that you all just do a thing. Hey, Malinga, Malinga, Malinga. Malingering comes from African action on the plantation. They say walk for eight hours. Uh, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, you only walk for two hours. They used to call it Malinga. So those of you all young people doing the Malinga dance and so on, Malingering comes from the resistance action of African people. Pastor London, you're a teacher. I am a teacher. So many of us are teachers. Our parents are teachers because what they can do in the school, the parents have got driving home. But some of us have, are, are, are formerly teachers. And the way to watch this government beat up on teachers, wearing them down, wearing them down, wearing them, using the power of the state against people who must educate our nation. Sometimes, I just say, it's a lucky thing I'm a public person, so there are some certain things you can't do. If I was an invisible person, I would have get so dread. You understand what I'm telling you all, PPP? You all get luck. I'm a public person. So I got to mind what I do and how I do. If I were not as public as I was, anyhow, Pastor, why are they killing our teachers? Doctor, they have, yet again, this population of individuals who are so critical to the survival of the state, to the, to the, to the respectability of a state. When you have got, as I put them, classify them a clan of criminals, their mind cannot be in propriety. Their mind will never be on, 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 on genuinely forming a society of individuals who are intellectually savvy enough to know that this behavior, I mean, we may spin it to that in a minute, this behavior that, that I'm seeing in leadership is, 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 is criminal. It is decadent in reference to the, to the, the, the flow of morals in society. They don't want that kind of mentality being our children. What they prefer to have in our children is it's the same that says, just just party, be wild what you want, break break the rules, do, any, do anything. At the end of the day, you must still function though in a bubble called control. You don't go beyond what we tell you. And so they're doing that to the teachers who will influence the minds of the students. Our children nowadays are not like way back when we were in school. They have got access to social media, they have access to so many things. And so in real time, they can see, and they have sense, we have fifth formers and, 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 and so on, 11 grade, 12 graders, who are seeing exactly how disrespectful this administration is to their teachers. And, and, and some of them are beginning to, even my son, they've understood that there's a fight against his teachers. Now, I'm saying that because I have an eight-year-old. And an eight-year-old understands, without my, without my saying it, when he observes and he would see, see things, he says, they're, they're fighting my teacher. Now, I'm happy that a child, a boy, can have that mentality to recognize that even those who claim to be leaders are fighting the one who will teach him to be a leader. And when I, when I listen to the tone of, of the PPP in response to Justice Sandil Kassoon, for example, I said to myself that if any political figure in this country could be so disrespectful to the ju judiciary, then the teachers are absolutely nothing in their minds. If you could, if Ali could say that the Kisun was just Kisun was presumptuous. Now hold on, or Jagir thing when I said it, you calling a judge presumptuous for mentioning the president? When did the judiciary become subservient to the executive arm of this country? So when I saw that they have that tone towards the judge, the learned judge. I know that they're going to seek to attack the teachers beyond repair. And I must also say here, maybe to the chagrin of many, that the response of other unions, the failure of the GPSC, for example, to join at a very strategic time has left the GTU to hang dry, as we say, and to try their best to fight. Additionally, I must say that when you've got troubling statements like they're about to agree to sign the nine percent of the and throwing this kind of spin in the air 
it bothers the minds of our teachers because they are 90 plus percent female. And so deliberate actions are being taken to attack the strength of our women. I therefore call on men, you're not necessarily teachers in the school, but you're teachers of a cultural system. You're teaching children to understand that the culture of modern in Guyana must be manly, not soft and hiding anywhere. Defend our women, stand up for our women. And I would not be surprised if when school is to be reopened in September, the teachers take to the streets again, because there is no way that in one month, for example, in June, I think it would have been 250 plus million dollars would have been made US in one one month, not in a, not in three years. And you telling me Guyana has is producing oil at the lowest rate, I think 30, 30 plus dollars US per barrel to produce oil in this country. So we would never have certain issues when it comes to, to, to wealth in this country. Exxon is having a field day. $30 it costs them to produce a barrel of oil. So if oil is sold $100 or $80 a barrel, look at what we're dealing with. And we have a group of people in this country who are telling our teachers that you are deserving of 9%, 4%, 6%, It's an insult. And for me, I see the response of the, of the, the wider population of teachers being so critical to this fight right here. Don't accept disrespect. You cannot sit back and accept this, this, this degree of disrespect from anybody including leadership of any form do not accept it you are worth far more when we observe how other people are living as i said you may touch on that but when we observe how other people in this country are living and how junior ranks in certain circles are living and and and, 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 and assistance are these people are having a, a heyday with our money and we have to fight we must fight we have to fight this is a fight for our dignity and our rights as a people here. Fight for our dignity and our rights. Coffee 250 invites all of you to its 11th annual forum on the state of African guys. The theme this year is a fighting theme. Fighting and frightening. Equity or back to slavery? That's the choice that's before African guys. We either get equity or they send us back to slavery. And we know we are going back to slavery. The yeah. role of the state and government in achieving the goals of the UN decade. Um, we are asking the political leaders to come before that forum and to talk about what they're going to do about black yeah. people when they get into power. Aubrey Norton, leader of the PNC, will be there. Nigel Hughes, leader of the AFC, David Hines, co-leader of the WPA. Henry Jeffrey will be there. Olive Samson, the it part of GCEO. And the moderator is Sister Adriana Thomas. It's this Sunday, this Sunday, the 18th of August, at 2 p.m. at Crystal Labor College. You are please go flock that place. And it's a it's a hybrid forum, so it will be open to those of One Love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. You heard the double honorable Dr. David Hines. Give us the insights and the focus that we should be holding. Because guess what? If we don't have a unified front, if we don't have a focused mindset, if we don't have general protocols as to how we are going to address the situations that melanated people are facing in the country of Guyana, as it relates to different victimizations that we face when persons go into the communities, destroy homes, as to the difference in the amount of contracts that we are awarded when it comes down to earning that large amount of finances from government contracts, when it comes down to all other forms of victimization from the teachers go right down. If we don't have a focused mindset as to how we're going to deal with these things and we don't have a unified front on them, then in accordance with what the Honorable Dr. David is presented, we will find it hard to move forward. What do you guys think about what was said? What do you guys think about that concept? Can you see with what the Honorable David Hines is saying, 
Do you think that his conversation has sound points, fulcrum on the development of melanated people in the country? Or are your views opposing? Let's have a conversation down below in the comment section. And as we're talking about the double honorable Dr. David Hines, guess who had a conversation as well for the honorable doctor? Guess who had something to say about Dr. Hines? And if he's not confirming exactly what the doctor was saying before, then we can conversate about that in the comment section as well. But it's none other than the VP. And as we always do here on Delta 9 Media, we bring you both poles, both sides of the political spectrum, so that we can have a neutral conversation on what is taking place. So we're going to hear directly now from the VP himself as he gives us some insights as to his perspective about the leader of the WPA, none other than Dr. David Hines. Let's hear from the VP right now. And if you haven't already, if you have not hit that thumbs up button, I know sometimes we come in and we get caught up in the content and you forget for thumbs up the video, but it does a lot for us here in the algorithm and we appreciate that. Thanks again for making sure that you hit that thumbs up button and let's get right into the content with the VP right now. I've seen the WPA now name its presidential candidate. And, and you know, I'm no, I've been around politics a long, so I'm no spring chicken. So, and, but this group of people make me even look young. And I'm, I'm, I'm been, I'm an old man. And this leadership, like they raided every geriatric home in this country. The WPA, uh, and they're re, what they said that they're reintroducing themselves to Guyanese. It's like <laughs> they've been around since I was like a boy. And as I said, I'm no spring chicken. And they've, I've been, they've been around these same faces since I was a boy. And they're reintroducing themselves now to the Guyanese pop population. This is what we have and for politics in Ghana. It is uh, unbelievable. Just the same way Nigel Hughes reintroduced himself as fresh leadership. He was chairman of that party twice before, resigned two times before when it suited his economic interests, and now I'm um, fresh leadership. It is the same old political party. They have no upward mobility for anyone in their political party. We have young people all the time flowing up to the top of our party and, and government. It's election time and the VP making no joke to clean up his political opponents. And when you talk about cleaning up and making sure that the place is staying clean, we must showcase what's going on right now on the ground with the highlighter as he highlights another little bug as he highlights another person without the dignity to make sure that they use a garbage bin in one of the most beautiful countries in the world he keeps highlighting these nasty characters and making sure that they know they gotta clean up the act we're gonna get right now on the ground with the highlighter as he patrols and makes sure that persons are keeping the community clean. And right after that, we're going to get into some higher thoughts, some higher conversation, the science of being great, a very powerful, insightful book by none other than Mr. Walter Wattles. Very insightful piece of content, very insightful piece of scholarship, that connects directly to what we see the highlighter doing right now. 
and that will be coming up right after the highlighter showcase this one who know for chewy trash in the garbage can let me get right into the content and thanks again for spending some time here with delta 9 media enjoy this content consider hitting that subscription button on your way out this is one of the person them who come in and dump rubbish at the back here what is big money how are you see boss man you need to go pick up your rubbish i'm joking in this town pick up your rubbish please can pause this video pick up your rubbish you need to pick up your rubbish <clears throat> We got to stop littering this town. Y'all coming from all around this place and dump your fucking rubbish. Pick up your rubbish. I tell y'all I'm joking, you know. I'm going to video everybody. Watch how much fucking rubbish. I cleaned this whole place yesterday. Pick up your fucking rubbish. I don't care who this country be. Pick up your rubbish. Y'all I pass this fucking town. Keep your rubbish in your yard. Burn your fucking rubbish. You drive from what part you scuntly for come and dirty this fucking place? Y'all like sparse people? This is the kind of um, thing y'all want for, 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 for our guy. These people pick up all the all scunt. Y'all know you drive around this place every fucking night, all day, all night. All day, all night, I trap our sin. And this scunt got to stop. Watch how this place clean. You know if it cause me scunt out in my pocket for cleaning this place? You carry your rubbish where part it belongs. Right at the same time you take for going right and throw it in the central, you ride and throw it on the fucking dike. They are too big, man. Are you disagreeable, man? Come to church. Please don't, 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 don't think, right? Please don't think you. Sorry. This scunt you got for done, friend. I can expose anybody. My father, I'll do it. I can expose you. Sorry, sir. Not so far this man left here for, 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 for say he come in and, 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 and dump rubbish right at the back of Len. I don't know, right? You scunt and go up on the highway or rent a sea for once, bim. That is past people. makes himself into the image, and God works with him. Nothing can prevent him from becoming what he wishes to be. In the same general way, the musical student pictures himself as performing perfect harmonies, and as delighting vast audiences. The actor forms the highest conception he is capable of in regard to his art, and applies this conception to himself. The farmer and the mechanic do exactly the same thing. Fix upon your ideal of what you wish to make of yourself. Consider well and be sure that you make the right choice. That is, the one that will be the most satisfactory to you in a general way. Do not pay too much attention to the advice and suggestions of those around you. Do not believe that anyone can know, better than yourself, what is right for you. Listen to what others have to say, but always form your own conclusions. Do not let other people decide what you are to be. Be what you feel that you want to be. Do not be misled by a false notion of obligation or duty. You can owe no possible obligation or duty to others that should prevent you from making the most of yourself. Be true to yourself, and you cannot then be false to any man. When you have fully decided what thing you want to be, form the highest conception of that thing that you are capable of imagining, and make that conception a thought form. Hold that thought form as a fact, as the real truth about yourself and believe in it. Close your ears to all adverse suggestions. Never mind if people call you a fool or a dreamer. Dream on. Remember that Bonaparte, the half-starred lieutenant, 
always saw himself as the general of armies and the master of France, and he became in outward realization what he held himself to be in mind. So likewise will you. Attend carefully to all that has been said in the preceding chapters, and act as directed in the following ones, and you will become what you want to be. End of chapter 10 Chapter 11 of The Science of Being Great by Wallace D. Wattles This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Realization If you were to stop with the close of the last chapter, however, you would never become great. You would be indeed a mere dreamer of dreams, a castle builder. Too many do stop there. They do not understand the necessity for present action in realizing the vision and bringing the thought form into manifestation. Two things are necessary. Firstly, the making of the thought form, and secondly, the actual appropriation to yourself of all that goes into and around the thought form. We have discussed the first, now we will proceed to give directions for the second. When you have made your thought form, you are already in your interior what you want to be. Next, you must become externally what you want to be. You are already great within but you are not yet doing the great things without. You cannot begin on the instant to do the great things. You cannot be before the world the great actor or lawyer or musician or personality you know yourself to be. No one will entrust great things to you as yet, for you have not made yourself known. But you can always begin to do small things in a great way. Here lies the whole secret. You can begin to be great today in your own home, in your store or office, on the street, everywhere. You can begin to make yourself known as great, and you can do this by doing everything you do in a great way. You must put the whole power of your great soul into every act, however small or commonplace, and so reveal to your family, your friends and neighbors what you really are. Do not brag or boast of yourself. Do not go about telling people what a great personage you are. Simply live in a great way. No one will believe you if you tell him you are a great man, but no one can doubt your greatness if you show it in your actions. In your domestic circle, be so just, so generous, so courteous and kindly, that your family, your wife, husband, children, brothers and sisters shall know that you are a great and noble soul. In all your relations with man be great, just, generous, courteous and kindly. The great are never otherwise. This is your attitude. Next, and most important, you must have absolute faith in your own perceptions of truth. Never act in haste or hurry. Be deliberate in everything. Wait until you feel that you know the true way. And when you do feel that you know the true way, be guided by your own faith, though the entire world shall disagree with you. If you do not believe what God tells you in little things, you will never draw upon his wisdom and knowledge in larger things. 100% wild-crafted CMOS. Only the best, because you deserve nothing less. Aid Butterfly. All the security services that are cropping up and popping up, including the biggest one that one uh, minister gave 37 high-powered weapons to, and then it is alleged that his son has a big position and a director within that security service. 